Hello my friends and welcome to Fluffy Boots Creations. I'm Naomi. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite yarn dyers and hold one second. Sorry about that. And that would be Thrift and Stitches. She does the full spectrum yarn. If you don't know Thrist, please check her out. She is so worth um, watching as well as um, what how she dies. She does a great, fantastic job. And no, I'm not just saying that because she's a friend. I'm saying that because it's true. So I want to talk about... <clears throat> Feels I had to clear my throat to make a decision. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I showed her yarn a couple weeks ago in my live. And since YouTube put me in the naughty box, since I could, took some time off, it's apparently not sending out notices. <laughs> so I'm not happy with them, but, you know, that's what happens. So... You may not have seen the yarn that I got from her. So I'm going to show it to you. And I'm also going to show you the projects that I have project I just finished with her yarn that I got over a year ago. And then show you a project singular. And I say singular because it's the only one I pre-planned already. Um for one of the yarns that I got for her. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's look at yarn. What? Yarn? Are you kidding me? Yep, I'm not kidding you. All right, here we go. My cat is getting mad at me, so let me let her, you know, talk to me for a second. One moment. All right, here we are. And just so you know, <laughs> I was, as I was pulling the yarn, for some reason, I started singing, let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and the thing called love. I don't know why. I did, though. I just started randomly singing it. My cat was like, okay, she's lost it now. So, yeah. All right. So, this is exciting. Oh, nope. Oh. Gonna have to pause for a moment. All right, I had to go try to delete some things off my phone because I've used up way too much storage. So I'm gonna have to probably finish this video and then edit it and get it on, <laughs> which is good for you guys. It's just I had planned on doing, you know, recording several, but I have some other videos on my phone I have to go through because I don't remember if they've been uploaded or not see so yeah that's how life is here one second anyhow like I was saying I have to go through my phone I have like six or seven videos on there that I am honestly not sure which ones have been uploaded and which ones hasn't and which ones I just don't need to have on. so I have to do that later but let's get back to the yarn because that's what we're here for. I was watching one of the videos and I'd gone goofy and I was singing, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, get down tonight. And now the song's stuck in my head and now hopefully it's stuck in your head because I don't want to be by myself singing it. Let's all sing it. Okay? Okay. Thrust is yarn. Woohoo! I'm very excited to share this with you. Especially if you haven't watched the live. And I showed it like two lives back, I think it was. So here's what happened. Just a little reiteration. I have made several orders with Thrust, and I told her. You know, do when you get to them. There's no huge rush. Um, we can just keep adding to it for now, which is what we did. And so, part of my order got here. Part of it isn't here yet. 
there is an issue. I'm not going to rediscuss it here, but it's been taken care of. And then I had a mystery box. And I have the mystery box too, but I think I'll have to record that tomorrow now since I have to go through the phone. And I'm trying to keep track of the time as well. So, let's start. Um, where did that go? Okay, there it is. Sorry. I lost the one. I'm like, oh, I can't find it. So the first one I want to show you is a pre-made pack that she made that was a mosaic pack. And I fell in love with the colors as soon as I seen them. So it is these really gorgeous blues with purples and pinks. And then this is the gray. Now these are DK. This is fingering. This is to make a mosaic. Now the mosaic that she did it for was a, a certain bag. I actually have an idea that I want to make with it. Um, I can't think what it's called. It's from my book. Um, shoot. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. I had to go get the book and then I was looking up the pattern. So the book is called Dark and Dynamic Mosaic Crochet. This is by Alexis Sixel. She also has a channel. Um, I'll have to look at her channel and put it in here. But it is 15 Modern Goth and Alternative Patterns. If you don't know, I am Gothic. Gothic, sorry. I always call myself Gothic because I'm not just into one style I love. Um, a lot of the dark Victorian styles, the, um, the architecture of Gothic or architecture, which is a lot of wrought iron, um, beautiful spirals, things of that nature. Um, so I don't call myself goth, I call myself gothic. I know I'm confusing, but that's just the way it is. Um, but I do wear a lot of black. It's like my second favorite color. Green's my first, just in case you didn't know by the giant green spook right here that I haven't used yet. <laughs> but um, it's going to be a while before I get to this because it's an intermediate pattern and I am at the... I want to learn how to do this, and I will, but I have to fix it, what I did. <laughs> so this is what I want to make. And I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. So that is called the Sanctuary Wall Hanging. It's an intermediate, like I said. <clears throat> so I want to learn how to do it. I got this for Christmas last year. I was so excited as soon as I got it and we came home I was just like <gasps> going through that she does such gorgeous design she's also on Etsy in case you didn't know so again this is the mosaics that I got now is it guaranteed this is what I'm going to do no I may decide to do something else it's just what I I want to do with it so I'm going to put these back in the basket that they go in. Drissa's yarn right now has its own basket. Ain't that cool? It's a nice little basket. I just made it. Oh, okay. Got for another quest. All right. Now, the next yarn that we are going to look at is the March um Subscription. Sorry, I had to really stop and think which one it was, but it's the subscription box. So this is, um, she had some extra of it because when I got it, I was even more in love with it than when I saw it. And I was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I got three of the fingering and somewhere in my, in my stash of yarn over on the other side is the DK weight already spun up 
and that's what made me go oh mm. but it's green and it's kind of like a black and gray so yeah i love it it's gorgeous and her yarn is so soft oh i'm sorry i have four of it so i'm going to squish all four it's so soft there it goes and this is fingering weight so there you go look at it look at it look, 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 look. and it looks like Almost looks like it does in real life on the camera. A little brighter on the camera, but because I don't have the light over me. I had it at one point, but it was blaring on the screen. So this is for a project. What is the project? I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's going to be awesome once I get it done. I just know that much. So here we go. And I love telling you guys about my favorite indie dyers. Um, and in case you're not sure what I mean by indie, it means independent um, here in the U.S. It's just referring to someone who is a small business. Um, <clears throat> I hope I'm not talking down to you. I don't want to talk down to you. It's just sometimes... <clears throat> depending on where you are in the world. We might say a word that has a completely different meaning somewhere else or, as is the case in a lot of times, another place will call it something completely different. And so if we don't at least kind of say, hey, this means, any means this, the other person's just like, I don't understand what the heck you are saying, woman. Oh my God, could you speak English, please? So, I'm not trying to be talking down or anything like that. I just wanted to make sure that we understood. This is an independent dyer and a good friend. And she has a YouTube, and I will be linking that in the description box. And, oh, and if you're like, ooh, I want to order some for yarn. She does subscription boxes and she's doing birthstone and so we're in I started to say we're in September we're in August so it would be the August birthstone um, I don't I don't know if she is taking I think she said she was done with August subscription boxes and they were all mailed out Trying to remember what she had said in her life just yesterday. <laughs> and then she is going to be going to see her grandbaby nugget, grandchild, who is due to be here very shortly. And she won't be re or say re -dying. She won't be back to dying until she gets back, which I think is going to be a couple weeks so if you fall in love with something here do know that she does not uh, generally re-dye subscription boxes because they're sorry my glasses apparently are not fitting my face um, this is, subscription box colors are made for um, that month it's a specialty color just like most places that the subscription box is you only get that color so if it's something that you think you're going to love buy enough for it at that time and all the yarns now I'm showing you are all DK the other thing is she does do custom orders but I believe all of her custom orders are closed right now I think they're still close. I cannot remember. I'm sorry. It's been a while since she had said that. But she does do custom orders. Um, so basically, if you're interested in her yarn, please reach out to her. Talk to her. Well worth it. Beautiful yarn. So soft. So funny. I love it. Actually, it's a little bit funny, but I had one of her purples 
in the, uh, I call it a purple woods amethyst, in the birthstone. And I had a little bit of it. And I wanted to take a small amount of it, because I had enough to do this, a small amount of it to put into my basket. Because it was the per perfect tone to go with my green. Or, did I use it for the green? Or did I do it for the teal? Might have done it for the teal. And I didn't do a whole lot, because I didn't want to, like, you know, use it all up. But... It was beautiful. It turned out so gorgeous. I loved it. So happy with it. All right. So this other one is... March. Sorry. March birthstone, which is aquamarina. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know my birthstones as well as I used to. I used to know every month's birthstones and their flower. And because I did, especially the birthstones, I used to do a lot of um, jewelry. And I was buying the birthstones for them. To hopefully sell and then they didn't sell. <laughs> That's how it goes. Anyways, I believe this is Aquamarina. Oh my god. I can't even speak. Anyways, I believe this is March. I normally get two. The other one's coming. So, I can have one to make. I'm making every color after the first of the year. Every color is going to become a dragon. I'm not sure where I'm going to put all of them. Once they're done, but that is next year's project. That's why I got them all the same weight. So they're all going to be a little bigger than I would if I would made them in fingering. Not that I wouldn't have bought them in fingering. I mean, if I could, I would have. But I was trying to not, you know, overload myself with a bunch of colors. <sighs> Art. Oh, my bunch of colors a bunch of yarn right now because I'm supposed to be shopping my yarn and this isn't exactly shopping my yarn is it but look how pretty that is look at the tones see that's what she did for the birthstone is she did tone on tone so that you get that feeling of uh, light reflecting off it which I think she did marvelous darling marvelous isn't that pretty all right so this one's going back in the basket Yep, Thrusted Yarn has his own little basket. Alright, so the next one I'm going to show you is April's Birthstone, which is Diamond. Now, before I show this to you, she was debating back and forth on what to do for Diamond. Because, let's face it, when you talk about Diamonds, most everyone knows that a Diamond is, like, clear, almost. Um with some refraction colors and sometimes the refractions are kind of a rainbow sometimes they're just kind of a dark shadow now when she showed me what she was doing i was just like oh my gosh that reminds me of black diamonds so i love that i love black diamonds there have you seen a black diamond oh my gosh they're gorgeous but it's again tone on tone so you have your lighter colors, you have your darker colors. I can't wait to work with this one. This is going to work up into an absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous dragon. I might even make two of them. I don't know yet. But this is diamond, and I think it's a very well made representation of diamonds whether you like a regular diamond or not you know you get that that tonal it's gorgeous i love it she does such great job seriously if you haven't ordered from her before you really need to she does have now that i say that um if you go to the community tab on thrifts and stitches i saw the other day because i was looking up something 
um, she has how to order. It's a little sheet thing so that you can look at and tell you how to order. So check it out. Give her a try. You will not be sorry. Great work and a great way to not only support a small business, but a small business that is also YouTube. All right. Yes, I am shamelessly promoting thrifts right now. It's true. All right, so I got two of these and oh, I love these. So she did some yarn a while back in a live and when she first used it I can't remember what the color was supposed to be but she ended up calling it Twilight Gray. I think that might have been the color's name but when she made it it was just to die for. I mean seriously to die for and I just seen a knit collar. I don't knit right now but I'm going to see if I can redo it a recreated in crochet something similar not exactly like but similar and I think I will it was called um, scissor hand shacks uh, shawl it was really cool I may even just buy the pattern and try to make it in it <laughs> it's beautiful I love it you know anyways Enough about that. Let's look at the yarn. So isn't that beautiful? This is Twilight Gray. Now what I love about this is you get a little bit of every color. You got some purples in there. You have greens. You have like a faded black. You have gorgeous grays in there. It's so beautiful. I keep telling her... <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to have to order more of that because it's gorgeous. And when I make my shawl that she's sending me some undyed yarn. And when I make, I said shawl, but I haven't decided for sure what I'm making. I told her, yes, this color, <laughs> I definitely want in there with the other colors. So it'll be exciting because she's going, to, once I make the item, she is going to hand paint it for me. I'm so excited. I just have to decide for sure what I'm doing. But isn't that gorgeous, darling? Oh, I love it. I can't wait to work with this. Actually, to be honest, I can't wait to work with any of hers. <laughs> I'm very excited. All right, that's going to go in its own little basket again. All right, the last thrush yarn I'm going to show you, but I'm not done with the video yet, so don't go anywhere is called into into the woods and this was april's april subscription i think it was yeah so it looks like this i have right now three absolutely gorgeous 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 um And what I love about these, this is so Pacific Northwest. Because if you have ever been here, or even if you haven't, perhaps you've seen pictures. We have, um, well, we obviously we have the coastline. Since we're called Pacific, kind of a little bit of a clue there. Um, our coastline, though, is a bit different than what you see in, like, um, California. But California has a lot of similar areas as we do. You know, the whole area of Washington, Oregon, and California. We all have a somewhat similar look, but it does change as you go farther down. But one of the things that we have is a lot of our coast is made up of almost like um, the forest ending. And then you get like a gravelly feel. We don't necessarily have a lot of sand, but we almost have like gravelly stone shorelines that have a lot of driftwood on it. You can even find um, sea glass, which is cool. Um, 
as long as it's actual sea glass and not just the bottle ends that haven't already made it into sea glass. Um, the funny story about that is I did not know until a few years ago that sea glass was actually trash of glass that made it into the oceans that have been tossed back and forth by the waves into other stones and it's rubbed them and made them into what we know as sea glass now. And I was like, that is awesome. I love that. It's kind of like the ocean taking our junk <laughs> of glass and making it into something beautiful, which, it, you know, recycling is awesome, especially if you actually use it again, right? Right. So, um, this is, this reminds me of our coastline because a lot of our coastline, I'm going to see if I can find a picture and I'll put, put a picture here to show you what one of our coastline areas looks like. Um, because I think you would, if you've never been here, you would love it. But we are an evergreen state. Our trees, most of our trees are year round. Well, okay. That didn't sound right. The leaves. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm talking down. I'm not trying to talk down. I'm just trying to tell you about our area, why I love this so much. Like today is a beautiful gray, foggy day. And you're probably going, what? That's beautiful? Yes, it is. It's cool out. It's only in the low, low 60s, I believe it is today. Sorry, I had to go. Hmm, what is it? Um, but it's, it's funnily enough, this looks like what it looks like outside my window with the gray and the trees, kind of that pale green. You know how it goes almost like a pale green the closer we get to fall? That's what it looks like in the browns, and it's just gorgeous. And so what I'm going to do with these is, I'll put another picture here. I am going to make the shawl that she wears in Outlander and no don't ask me the name right now I can't think of her name right now so I'm just gonna say the shawl and what I discovered when I was looking up pictures was that her shawl and just so you know I've actually never seen the show same with Game of Thrones and I know most of you are like are you kidding me what yeah, I haven't because it's one of those things that I know if I start watching that show, I am going to get super duper inspired <laughs> and I want to change everything I'm doing. And I have plans right now. So since they have been released, I've never seen one episode of either one of those shows. I have to, I have a very strong tendency of when I'm watching something that starts inspiring me of wanting to make something right then and there that is inspired by the show. Can't always do that. Um, there is a, I don't know if you've seen it, but Amazon has a channel called Great Courses, which I love. I have to get back. Um, it has a lot of awesome 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 lectures and one of my favorite lectures is from uh ancient civilizations and it's mainly on the mayan i think no it's just on sorry it's been a while since i've seen it so please excuse my brain south american ancient cultures in south america and every time i watch it and it doesn't matter where I am in the lecture and I watch it, I get so inspired because so many gorgeous colors, so many gorgeous designs, lines, um, you name it, you find it in their pottery, their clothing, their, you know, anything, artwork. So it inspires me. So I have to be careful when I'm watching things and I'm, I'm in a mood for a certain style and I'm not wanting to really vary from that because I want to get it done. Um, I can't, 
always work watch um, new shows that I know are going to inspire me. But all that being said, I love this yarn. This yarn is by far, and I'm saying that with all honesty because I have a lot of her yarn. I do. I really do. I have so much yarn that is from Thrist. But this color set right here is one of my all-time favorites, and I love it. And the first time I opened the bag on the camera, I would I kept going like this, and I was laying against it, and you know all this stuff. And I'm like, <clears throat> it's gorgeous. I love it. And I was I'm going to show the picture again. When I found the picture, I realized something, and that was the fact that her shawl actually is three colors, which is the main body color. So there's my main body. Then that lower part between the stripes is actually a different color. And then the stripes obviously are one color. So I have two Malabregos that I found that I want to use. And I may not be able to find them again. So I may have to get someone else to dye it for me or find something different. But I found this little color and it works really gorgeous with this and it would be really good for the second color in between the stripes. But I have to find more of this first. The other color I found for the stripes and I'm not 100% sure I have enough to do this, so a oh, little panicky, but I have the name of this one. This one, I can't find the name of. I don't remember who, um, what color it is, so I have to kind of just, you know, <laughs> I have to look at colors, see if it matches. If it matches, great. I may, I'm probably not going to be able to use this one I'm probably going to have to find something else but I did find and this worked beautiful with it it's another Malabrego I have the name so like I said I can order this again but that one and what I love about it is it's 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 a strong enough contrast that once I put it with it especially to separate the two colors it's going to make, or the two yarns, it's going to make each one pop and it will make this just gorgeous. Now, I do have this one and I don't know if I'm going to use it because once again, it's a one-off. It's not as soft because this one is a different make, I think. I think it is, hold on, let me look real quick. It's, I, I love this wool, super soft, but it's 100% wool, which obviously is good for me because that's what I'm making. So I'm trying to get my little finger in there so I can separate this stupid thing. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's this. I like it, but I don't want to go that light for the second stripe area. So I need to find something either in an olive like this or a brown. Don't really want to do the gray because I think there's enough gray represented here, um, but I could go with a gray if I get to that point and I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe a gray would work. So this is all that one, the Into the Dark. This is DK, and this is the color that I have chosen for the stripes. I got that far. Do I have enough to start it yet? No, but that's okay. Because I got a lot of stuff started that I need to finish. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, 
Let me put this over here. Out of the way. Now the last thing I want to talk about is something that I did finish with Thursa's yarn. And I really want to talk about the way that it crochets. Um, I have to tell you, it was a dream to work with. Her yarn is so soft. It is like butter when you are crocheting with it. If you have to rip out, very easy. No trouble whatsoever because we all have that issue. We might have made something and we discovered we got one thing wrong on it. Like skipped a stitch or put too many stitches or who knows, you know. It was very easy to work with. The other thing is, the colors in this are beautiful. It's called Dee's Lagoon. It was a subscription box color. I got two of them. So I didn't have a lot of yarn to work with. And, but I wanted to make sure that it was really the star of this um, wrap because I love the color so much. And I had found that I had a color from Keith at Yarn Snob called, um, it's one of his orchids. I'll look up the correct name and put it in the description to highlight the yarn I got from Thrist, but it also stands as its own color in here. And I haven't named this one. Um, it was inspired by Mor Moroccan tiles and architecture. Um, I just find it gorgeous. So let me show you what the stitches look like. So this is, all right, ow, Ooh, why am I all battered, oh, all right, there is the stitches now, I'm hoping you can see those good, I think you can see them pretty good, this is fingering weight, just in case you're wondering, I used a size 5 um, oh, no, I'm sorry, a size 5.5 .5 hook, which is this one here. Um, this is a size I, in case you're wondering, and it's a furls hook. So, back to this, and I did it for the whole, whole thing. So, this is that beautiful yarn I was talking about from um, Yarn Snob. I think the stitches all turned out gorgeous. It was such a dream to work with. And I used the orchid down here for the lace work. I'm sorry, it is not blocked right now. I have a bad habit of not blocking because I don't have a big place. And I have two cats who I would put something down and they'd be like, hey, mom, would you like us to walk on this for you and maybe possibly snag it? So, this is what it looks like. As I said, beautiful colors, deep, gorgeous definition. It, it really does remind me of Lagoon with the depth of it. As you can see, you get a lot of depth coloring. It is greens, it is teals, it is turquoise, it is gorgeous. And I love it, and I'm so happy that I decided to make it in this. I've had that yarn for a couple of years now. And I'd spun it up before because I was going to work with it. And then, as happens many times when I'm working on things, I change my mind about the coloring. And that's what I did. So, it got put aside. But that's okay. We're okay with that. Alright. So... I know I'm saying so a lot now because my brain's like, hey, 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 we gotta, we gotta go do some stuff. Alrighty, brain, I hear you. I hear you, brain. I'm gonna pull this both back up, put it up. Oh, and it's so light, but it's it's nice and warm. 
beautiful. Oh, I love this one. All right. So that, my friends, is it for this video. What do you think? Did I inspire you to buy some yarn from Thrifts? I hope so. Or if you already have Thrifts' yarn, did I inspire you to pull it out and maybe start working with it? I hope so because I think you're going to love it. Beautiful yarn. Beautiful colors that she does. And oh, in case you didn't know, she happens to be blind. Yeah, yeah. And yet she does this gorgeous work. So, you know, seriously. So remember, it's Thrust and Stitches is her channel name. Her yarn, I think, but don't quote me, I think it's still called Full Spectrum. I can't remember if she renamed it. I'm sorry, my brain doesn't always retain every little fact there is in the world. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. It retains all the silly, stupid little things that nobody cares about. And then it retains all of the other things <laughs> that probably nobody cares about either. And then I'll have a little section for all the stuff I actually need. But I don't remember. <laughs> So, anyways, my dear friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I swear, I'm always weird. I'm always silly. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just, I'm a random kind of person. It's just how it is. That's how things go on my channel. And if you are new and subscribe please hit that notification bell so you always know when I drop new videos but I'll give you a little hint from now on it's going to be Friday and Saturdays are when new videos will drop and lives every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and to all of my friends who are returning thank you so much I hope you enjoy the video I've missed talking to you guys. I hadn't even realized how much I missed talking to you until I started. This is my third video today. <laughs> so, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now, friends.